to set this up. I am going to mute everyone. So if you have a question, you can type it or you can unmute yourself and ask. I'm going to give you guys chances to ask questions. Um, but I'm, I'm trying to set it up because when too many people talk or there's too much background sound, then it completely cuts out on, on what I'm saying and I don't want anyone to get too lost. Hello, ma'am. Um, so I am going to mute. Let's see. How do I do that? How do I do that? Okay. okay. Let's see, muted. Oh, everyone's already muted. Fantastic. Okay, here we go. And chair yet? Vignette? Awesome. We are going to warm up like a cumulative dope class. So hands on your hips for neck exercises. Tana dual set neck. Das yosit el gapio dual. Tana dual set neck. Das yosit el gapio dual. Two arms in, two forward, two back. Tana dual set neck. Das yosit el gapio dual. Tana dual set neck. Das yosit el gapio dual. And waist bend. We'll go this way first. Tana dual set neck. Das yosit el gapio dual. Tana dual set neck. Das yosit el gapio dual. And toe touch is going this way first. Tana dual set neck. Das yosit el gapio dual. Tana dual set neck. Das yosit el gapio dual. From here, we're going to do forward and backward bend. Tana dual and all the way back. Set neck. Das yosit. Um, we're gonna take one leg, bring it over the other leg, and you're gonna try and touch your toes. Tana dual set net dash it use it so got your dual up and you will bend your back knee to release and switch Oops. and down the na dual set net dash it use it so got your dual up and you will bend your back knee to release and let's do leg stretches short this way first the na dual set Net, das it, use it, you got your dual, up, and you will, and switch. The na, dual, set, net, das it, use it, you got your dual, up, and you will switch and longer. The na, dual, set, net, das it, use it, you got your dual, up, and you will, and switch. Tana, dual, set, net, dash it, use it, you got your dual, up, and you are going to go down to the ground. Let's bring this leg out first. Good. We're going to do two down, two over, two down, two back. And tana, dual, set, net, dash it, use it, you got your dual. Tana dual, set net, das yose, ogat yo dual, and down for a ten count. Tana dual, set net, das yose, ogat yo dual, up and dual, and leg is over for eight rotations. Tana dual, set net, das yose, ogat yo dual. Tana dual set net das yosit el gap yo dual leg goes down arm across and twist. Tana dual set net das it yosit el gap yo dual up and dual let's switch legs. Good two down two over two down two back. Tana dual set net. Das yosit, ogat yo dual. Tana dual, set net. Das yosit, ogat yo dual. And down for a ten count. Tana dual, set net. Das yosit, ogat yo dual. Up and dual. Like comes over for eight rotations. 
So for every block, Grandmaster Grobo says it's a one-two pop. That means we have enough time to set one, two, and then we explode. For every strike, it's immediate. You don't want to waste time. You want to go straight into the motion. So from here, our pull is going to be straight from here. Okay? Because we're not defending ourselves now. We're attacking. So here, we're going to pull our hand in, punch the hand at our side, and put up. Dual. Set. Net. Good. For high block, hand goes across. The other one goes to our shoulder like we're doing a low block. And same idea. Um, high block. Hana. And set. Dual. Set. Net. Good. For out to in block, the hand that's out is going to come out. You don't want it completely straight. You want it just a little bent, but not, uh, we have an idea. It's called outside 90. You want it to be outside 90 degrees. Anything inside 90 has no power. So outside 90, but not completely straight. The other block is going to start above your shoulder. This hand's going to pull in. This one's going to come down right in line with your shoulder. And hana. Dual. Set. Net. From here, same idea, we're gonna straighten that hand out. The other one's gonna open and come closer to our ear, okay? The idea here is not gonna be as wide as our out to in block. This block is more to come in between someone's guard. So if someone has a guard, their hand is supposed to not come around and in, it's supposed to come straight through where they're defending themselves and chop. So here, here, pop. It's not a wide swing, it's in very tight. Yes, out to in chop. Hana. And then hand goes out, other one comes up, dual. Set. Net. Good. From here, we're going to borrow, chant, and connect. Awesome. So that's most of basics one. We just didn't do the box in backstage, but I want to pause. Um, I understand that adults uh, process things a lot faster sometimes in children, and they're a little bit more thoughtful. So in all of my classes, I do like to take moments and let people ask questions or add their comments or concerns, especially because we're from different schools and everyone's going to have a really unique perspective. So if anyone has any questions now and you want to ask them, please go ahead and mute yourself and ask. Going what? Going twice. So, okay, great. That means everyone's got it all the same page. Sometimes I confuse people and I talk too much. If I do, please put your hands up like this and tell me to stop. Um, I take after one of the other masters here, to basically raise me, and sometimes I do talk too much and, and make no sense. So please let me know. Um, so from here, we're going to go back into that horse stance then. The next part would to be shift into a back stance. For our back stance, we're going to lean our weight over one leg. So we're almost bouncing on one leg. The other one's going to turn and point in the side direction that we're going. Okay? Hand, um, whichever foot's in front, that hand's going to go to your belt. The other one covers. Then it's going to come up and to the side. Good. That's our side block. We are, a, um, this is a defensive stance, and it's pushing something away. We're a smaller target. Good. And then the hand that's at our side goes across. Other one goes to our shoulder. Shift your weight. Dual. Good. Set and shift. Set. One more. Set and shift. Next. Good. Last block for this um, blocking combination. Hands go out. The um, hand that's on your, I can't even tell through you. This hand's going to go straight up. The other one's going to go across your path. You're going to shift your weight over. Point that foot. This hand's going to come across your face and down. You want it in line with your shoulder. We have a, um, a TI here, TI Roshu, who came up with the idea of when you're coming across, you're going to cross your stand high to yourself, and then you're going to chop them down. So she likes to go high yaw, which is really cute. So if you have kids and they practice, you can check on them and make sure they're doing high yaw. From here, you're going to shift over, pivot that foot, and across. Good. Shift, turn. Good. And one more. Shift. Nice. And bar. This is Betty Chima. That was awesome, man. You're keeping up great. It's like you've been taking classes with Trump for the past two years. 
Woohoo! Um, that is basics white, okay? Most basic blocks that you do white through orange cups. Um, we're gonna move on to basics two. This is gonna do, and this is, uh, Amory. I'm saying it right, yes? I don't know if I got, I don't know if I got anybody. Okay. Um, you can follow along. It's kind of similar up to a point where it's not similar at all. Um, but feel free to just follow along. We are going to do basics two and then stop there. So, um, because we have only three super, super advanced students, but they will get their training in a second. So, Jumi, we're going to go back in the horse dance. Basics two, hands are going to drop straight behind you. And then the hand that's going across your body is going to come in line with your shoulder. The other one comes across to support it. Good. And then drop it the other way. Dual. Set. Net. Good. From here, you're going to take this hand, pull it back, do a high punch. A high punch is right below the nose where a mustache would be. And then up. Dual. Set. Net. Good. So a middle punch is always where your patch is. It hits your solar plexus. I have a high punch. It hits right from below the nose. From here, you're going to open the hand that's in front of you. You're going to open the hand that's at your side. The hand that's in front of you is going to press down. The other hand is going to go straight over it into a spear. So the tip of your fingers are driving into someone's solar plexus. So from here, press to not. Good. And same thing on the other side, dual. Set. Net. And the idea of this hand here, it's protecting your elbow. Your elbow is completely straight. So if anything were to hit it, it would pop backwards. So this way you can protect your elbow. Good. From here, the hand that's underneath goes to your belt. The other one goes to your shoulder. We're going to do a back fist. The back of your fist comes across to hit someone in the face here. So just like that, good. And dual. And you want to line it up with your own face, with someone your own height. Good. And set. And one more neck. Good. And borrow. Trip. And connect. I don't have so instructor Tracy to my time if you want. Awesome. This class is going by way too fast. Um, what we're going to do now. And I'm going to give uh, everything, every class I've taught today, and this is my first time teaching on Zoom at all. I've been assisting all last week, but I've been trying to give every, um, every class a drill that they can take to do on their own, um, that they don't really need someone to give them directions or they don't have to really follow along. Um, something simple that's theirs to take with them. And I know that's been very hard for people. Like the basic combinations, unless you're doing it over and over, it's very hard to memorize and you have to follow along quite a bit. When you're doing your form, sometimes you need to reference a video. I want to give you a way to reference and do something on your own. Um, so this is a little something that will help with your form that you can take with you um, that you don't really need to reference anything for. Um, the idea with all of our stances is there's a way to measure them to know if we're doing a strong stance that will benefit and make everything else that you're doing better. One of the things that I used to do, and I trained at a different school a long time ago, but we would go in and out for our stance, but our stance would become too wide. And I would lose my balance quite a bit. And the idea of a front stance is if something's coming towards you and trying to push you back. So wide stances are good if someone were trying to push me sideways, but not if someone's trying to push me back. So the way to measure and make sure that we have a proper front stance is you take one fist and you put it in between your two feet, that's how wide your stance should be. And then take one of your legs and you're gonna measure it basically your foot length three times. So heel to toe three times going forward. And that's the length that your front stance should be. The idea of this is if someone tries to push at you, you have um, a tight enough stance that if someone pushes, it, it balances you without making you you move backwards and it gives you a lot more control. So here, just back and forth, what we're gonna do is you're just gonna measure by your fist, take one foot, step it forward three times, your foot, heel to toe, bend that front knee and check. And get used to that feeling, check, make sure that it's what it's supposed to be, because this is something that you can measure and do 
obviously on your own. So just going back and forth, try with one leg and the other leg. So here, one, two, three. Here, one, two, three. And keep going on your own. If you feel comfortable with it, go at your own pace. The idea is to get so used to this stand that you can naturally land in it the more you do it. Yes? So just go on your own. When you feel comfortable, start all over again. Mrs. St. Brown, no, you can bend your knee more, ma'am. See, I you better have your knee bent a lot, yes, sir? And I'm gonna have everyone freeze for a second. Uh, back in February, all of the instructors, uh, we did a giant training with Grandmaster Lee. Uh, who teaches, you know, Grandmaster Mill and Grandmaster Bro, and we spent like three hours going over our stances like this. So as um, simple as it seems, it makes a huge difference, and it's something really easy to measure yourself by. If you are a higher ranking belt, so if you are everyone except for Mrs. Benajima, because this is your first class, um, this is something you can do. We also have back stances. Back stances are also really easy to measure. There's a way to do it. What you would do is you take one foot, turn it sideways, and kick it into your own heel. So don't go behind. You want to go right in as if you're hitting your own foot. And then what you would do is step that out two of uh, your feet away from that leg. So one, two. Oh, no, I'm going the wrong way. I'm supposed to go towards you guys. Um, I kick in. My foot goes forward. One, two. That's my back stance. Okay? So if you would like to practice having a good back stance as well, I'm measuring it like that. Going here, one, two. Feel free to practice that as well. Yes, and a good way to check also is to make sure that your knees go over your toes. So that way your hip and your knee is in line for your back leg and your knees are over your front toes. You always want to bend both knees because if you leave your front leg straight, there is the ability for more damage to happen if something were to hit that leg. So always bend both of your knees. Okay? So if you would like to try back stance now, be my guess. One, two, bend. One, two, bend. One, two, bend. Two, and then. Awesome. Um, so that is something that very easily you can practice on your own at any time. It's a little piece of, um, you know, curriculum I can give you that's uh, pretty simple. Every stance you do can be measured by your own feet and a fist. So Jun B is literally one foot in between your two feet. If you're a black belt and you have walking stances and you're here, you measure that fist and it's one, two, and you turn your foot up just a little bit. So everything that we do can easily be measured by our own feet. So I encourage you to uh, take that and make it your own. Uh, for the rest of class, I am going to ask that we work on forms because there's a lot of you and there's only one of me. Um, so I'm, I'm sure it's gonna get a little chaotic in a second, but I'd like to be able to help everyone with their forms a little bit and see where they're at. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Um, so that way you, you have a takeaway related to your actual class, not just something that you can practice at home like stances or blocks. Um, so I would like to do it, well, let's see if we can do it like this. Um, I'm gonna try and make my way around the screens based on rank um, and kind of I'll be directing it towards one person I ask if you know your form already you practice it if you are 
Anyone besides Mrs. Benajiba, and you don't know your form, please practice the form beforehand. Uh, I will try and make my way around. I'm gonna start with our white belts, then move on to our yellow belts. We have, we have a lot of green belts. Oh, this is awesome. Green belts, this is gonna be great. And then we have an advanced red belt. Awesome. Um, so I'll make my way around. T.I. Pierce, you are to go through and practice all of the Paul Gaze. Um, and hold on, I have to remember the name. We have another one. Oh, I'm really bad with names. My other T.I. who's been really awesome next to his dad. You have to do your father's form and you have to have deeper stances than him, okay? Yes, you have to challenge him. Yes, deeper stances, okay? Awesome, I'm really bad with names. I know your name is on the tip of my tongue. I'm so sorry. Um, but let's go through and start that. I'm gonna start with Mrs. Benajiba. So anything you hear from me is me talking to our white belts. I will call you out when I am, I'm trying to work with you. Let's try and see if we can get through everyone in the next 20 minutes. Awesome. And I'm gonna ask you all to begin. Mrs. Benajiba, I'm going to ping your screen so I can see you. And this is something you can practice with gems, but I'm gonna give you the first few moves of your four. Let's see if I can pin your video. Let's see, let's see. Pin video. Aha, now I can see your full screen. Great. So your form is named Kicho Elbow. It means that you start with nothing, you end with nothing. It's something I've told Chung quite a bit as he's gone through his little dragon belt. The idea though is the white belt gets darker and dirty, it turns black. As the black belt fades, it starts to fall apart and fade and it turns white. So it means it's going full circle. Um, but you would start here in Jumbi, which is our ready position. Jumbi means we're ready to go. So we always start and we always end here. You'll bring this hand to your shoulder. The other one will cover. You're gonna step this foot over into a front stance. The front stance means your back leg is straight, your front knee is bent, okay? So you wanna lean forward. The hand that's at your shoulder is gonna block over your leg. There, that's the very first move. And you're doing awesome, ma'am. From here, you're just gonna step straight forward into the same type of stance and punch. Yes, so let's go back. So it's not super hard, it's just a new type of hand that coordination. So we're gonna do it one more time and then I'm gonna add two more moves. I'm sure Shannon will teach you the whole form by the end of the week, um, but at least you have a starting point. So hand set, the other one's gonna cover. You're gonna turn low block. Then you're gonna step forward, punch. The hand that's out in front of you, that's the hand that's gonna go to your shoulder. The other one's gonna go across. You're gonna bring your front foot towards the camera and then around to the other side and low block. And then step forward and punch. Yep, and that's the first four moves of your form. So it goes low block, punch, turn, low block, punch. You always go to your left first because most attackers are ready. Um, so you will almost always in every form go to your left first. So that means that your left hand is the one that's going to um, do the block and that's what that's going to do. So we'll do it one more time and then I'll just try and make my way around. Let's see. Hands up. Other one covers. Turn and up. Dual. And that out goes to your shoulder. The other one covers. Turn and up. Dual. Good. Yeah, I'm going to give you more while we're here. The hand that's out, that's going to go to your shoulder. The other one's going to cover just like you did, but this time you're going to step forward towards the camera and block. So you're going to switch your feet. There you go. So, yep, there. Whichever leg's in front, that hand's always going to be doing the move, too. So that way you always know as well. So, same hand, same leg. From here, you low block. You're going to step forward and punch three times. One, two, Step, I know you don't have a lot of room, so you might want to hop back. You have to step forward again. So it's the same hand, same leg. So step forward and punch. Good, and then step forward and punch one more time. Good, and go back to Jumbi. So it's low block, punch. Turn low block, punch. And then that hand goes, to your shoulder, your front foot comes forward to low block, and you step forward and punch three times. One, two, and then three. Yes, ma'am. And that is the first half of your four, and it looks awesome. 
So I would just keep practicing that. Awesome, I'm gonna make my way around. Let's see, I know she's here somewhere. There we go. We're going to pin Amy Marie, pin video. Aha, hi Karen. Awesome, okay ma'am, I know you wanted to work on the scissor block move in your form, yes? Uh, yeah, for that purple, the Ryan and Karen yeah, gave me scissor block. I need to see it maybe on the side or slower. Absolutely, so what we'll do is we'll work on that. I know you have two really great teachers at home. So the move here would be, I would set whichever leg is stepping, that hand is gonna go across my belt. My other hand is gonna go to my shoulder. Because I step backwards, that hand is gonna come up and I wanna cover my front leg. But, but do you go in the front of your body or behind your arm, in front? My middle block goes inside, my middle block goes outside. So here, just like that. Yes. So here, move. Yep. Yes. Lower the middle. Yep. Lower middle. <laughs> All right, and then here it comes again, right? Yes. So there. No, nope, switch your hands. Good. Like, so it goes around like this? Yes, just like that. Mm -hmm. Yes, just like that. Wait, and I'm doing purple, right? Good. And drop your hand straight behind you so it's not a circular motion. It's one, two. Yes. Yep. And then we do the spear. So hand comes down and over. Wait, we're starting. There, yes. Oh, mama, over you and the boat. Um, my, my teacher. <laughs> okay, and then I do the same thing over on that. When I, um, when I turn around, do I do another scissor block? No, so the scissor block is only when you're facing forward or backwards. So when I start the form, I'm facing forward and I do a scissor block. When I turn to go forward, scissor block. After I do both of the sides, and I'm here, my last move by facing backwards is scissor block. So whenever oh, you're mind, you don't do scissor. So then when I turn here, I'm just gonna do this, because it's punch, punch, right? Yes, ma'am. Then do this. So I don't need to do that scissor thing, I just go here. You just go into that middle block, yes. Here, and then here. And then here. Yes, ma'am. And then, do I need to put my hands back here when I come back down? No, no, no. Because when you're turning from here, you're doing a middle block. So you would set that hand across your belt, the other one would cover. So as you turn, you're covered, and then you land in that. There. Here, punch, punch. Here, here, here. Yes. Now this is when I do a scissor block right now, right? Yes. I have to put this hand down. Put your hand, there you go. Here? Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, hold on. I just had a blackout. All right. And then I go like this, right? So you step forward into a back sit, double fisted block. Right. And then I, now I'm walking, right? Back stance. Hold on. This is hard to see when I'm walking backwards. <laughs> <laughs> then here, and then I punch again. Yeah, and then you do the same thing as the beginning, the low, the middle, the front. And where are you putting your hands when you're walking backwards? So when I'm going backwards, so I'll do it facing this way. So yeah. Either, so That's your scissor. One. Yeah. Two. Three. Okay. And then from here, then I will Yeah, and, yeah. and then do you do another scissor right there? Oh, no, you don't. Because you turn sideways, you're not facing forward again. Karen, what did you do to the sound? I can't hear anymore. You can hear. Put the sound back on. Okay. Sorry, my helper. Because you're turning sideways. No, now I can't hear anything. You don't do another scissor block. I can't hear anything. Hold okay. on. What'd you do? Oh, All right. Wait. You should go to the next person. I can't hear you. Wait, Mom. Thank you, Mom. Oh, okay. Let's go back to this view. 
We have a bunch of green belts. I see one, two, three, four green belts. Awesome. So, green belts, let's go through this form. I want to see. This is one of my favorite forms. Ooh, I got to see the big screen. We have it set up on a, a giant projector so I can see everyone a little bit better. So, this is kind of helpful. Awesome. So, green belts, straight up. And yet, Juby, I have in my mind what I would like to give you guys to work on, but I want us to get there first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count up to the yell, and then we're going to pause there. Sound good? Great. Okay. Ready and put up. Cool. This is right, Queen. Am I doing this? Right? Not Karen. Yes. Help me. Next. Help, help me, because yes. I don't see you. <laughs> Don't touch anything. This is the green belt. This is, and Mr. Saper, you're one move behind. Let's step forward, do one more high block. And yellow! Hey, good. Let's all take one giant hop back so I can see everyone in that punching position. Great! Awesome! I do slice, slice now, right? Mrs. Yes. Skinner, yes? Do I have it right? Slice, mm -hmm. slice, slice. Okay, good. Um, so from here, this was actually one of the first things when we did what Grandmaster Bobo calls our update. We did this like over and over and over again, and I still find it the most confusing form uh, move to do ever. From that point, we have to go into a double knife hand middle. So the way that we're going to set from here, the punch again is going to go across. So it goes across our body. The other hand is going to shoot underneath, like we're asking for something. That's the way that we set. So when I turn, my hands end up where they're supposed to do, uh, it's supposed to go, to do the block. So let's go back to that punch. Stop moving the screen and get rid of that. You were right, Miss Sammy Marie. You're perfect. The other hand goes underneath. And turn now your back hands. leg is going to step around. Perfect. Can you stop touching there, the screen, there, Karen? There, there, there. Back there you go, Mr. Safer. Yep. So you turn towards your back foot all the way around. Let's do it one more time. So we're back in the punch. <coughs> and you goes across. Underneath. 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 Now from here, step forward, Amy Marie. I'm gonna go to your side. So the yes. hand out goes to your side. The other one's gonna go over. You're gonna turn all the way around. Double leg hand middle. Good. And then step forward, double leg hand middle. Awesome. And let's go back to Judy. So I know a lot of people when they are assisting or teaching the. Uh, Green belt form, Paul Gay Sam Jump. They focus a lot on the part going backwards. Um, and that's something that if you practice your stances and you have your outs in block, it's not too difficult. It's just getting the idea of shifting backwards, which is something that um, you can do. But most people don't understand that concept. Uh, so the way to think about it is whenever you're doing a knife hand, the hand that's got to come across your face has to be low and basically attach your body and the other one goes out, okay? The rule when you do any turn is you want to set the opposite direction of where you end. So if I'm ending over here, I have to set over here. So this one goes where it's supposed to go. This goes the opposite direction to set where it needs to be. And then from here, it's the same idea. Yes, this hand comes in where it's supposed to be. The other one goes out. So when I turn, it's where my hands are supposed to be. And that shift, I think, is a very hard thing and it takes a lot of practice. So green belts, this is the, what I would like for you as you're going through your form to really focus on the most. It's focusing on that shift and going through to make sure that that makes uh, sense. Hello, sirs! Oh my goodness. Are you here? Are you looking for the seminar or for um, the adult class? Uh, you guys want to mute. If you're looking for the seminar, it's another link. This is the adult class that started at five o'clock. So the seminar should be another link. If you click, if you go to the Shrub Oak, um, the Shrub Oak buttons in the email, that's the one that will take you to the seminar. 
Master Clap. Master Clap, just because it's a mirror image, can you just say right and left when you did this? Is it right here? Right. You guys have the right side. So if I'm going this way, that's the side that you should go towards. If I go this way, that's the side that you should go towards. Uh, we have an advanced red belt that I have to get to. So, hello, ma'am. I saw you, you already know like the whole form, yes? Yes, I should have graduated this month. Oh, awesome. So this is more of a review for you to set you up for graduation. Great. So what I'll do is I'll watch the form and maybe I'll give one or two options that can just make it a little bit stronger. That will transfer over since your next belt is a bodon belt. Um, and that's a huge jump in up. So I'll, um, I will watch and see if I can help you. Because I'm pretty good with everything. Um, except the only thing I know I need help with is when you we do those, like, Oh, going back. One, right. two, one. Ah, uh, yes. That's right. I need my help. Uh, so, let me think about okay, Brian and Karen, they're doing red. You haven't practiced red yet. Can you stop? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, chicks. One. Yeah, so it's after we do the kick um, on my right. Side this way, where I need my help. Okay, so from there, you turn, palm in, the foot that moves, that hand's gonna go on top. So I literally look like this. The foot that moves, that hand is in front, and you make an X. Okay, hold on one second. I lost you. We have some kid in the garage right now. So it looks like this. We're meeting. Hold on. Can you see me now? I want, there we go, now you're back. There's a lot of other sounds, but one thing that I would suggest that you do is pin my video to the screen. If you go up to the corner of my video, there should be a tab button that says pin my video to the screen. You can see that there's a little bit of a pin video. There we go. Okay, thank you. So from here, I'm gonna do palm to palm, like palms are facing in, whichever foot's moving, that hand goes on top. So I'm doing this foot, this hand goes over. I like this right now. I don't know if you can yeah. see. So when you turn. It's my left hand, because when I turn now, my left is going to be. Yep. So then I would just, now I would just turn for me, but that, there you go. So you're going to go in and then straight to your shoulders. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull both hands in like you're chambering, it'll go straight out. Yes. And then the same thing again. So my left is coming in front, that left hand's gonna come on front. Out. Pull in, up. Okay. And then from there you just set like you're doing it out to in chop, but do it as a block in that back stance. Yep. And then around. Elbow, yep. Hands move in. I go up this way, let me face you. I go back down. I like this. Hey! Yes, just like that. My yeah. only other suggestion is when you're doing the move going sideways, look in whichever direction you're going. Okay. Make sure I see where I'm going. That much. So if I'm going this way, I'm looking over that shoulder. If I go this way, I look over that shoulder. Mm -hmm. Okay. That'll help me. Thank you very much. Awesome. How's everyone doing? If we are doing okay, the thumbs up, you can still hear me. Great. Sapers, how are we doing? There we go. Awesome. Zollers, we're doing good, right? See, I know you're on the tip of my tongue. I blanked for a second. I'm sorry. Awesome. Um, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, I asked the instructor Tracy if we could have added this, um, could have added this schedule because I, I enjoyed teaching you a lot and then you have any adult classes on Zoom uh, with some of the black belts. So I thought that this would be really nice and a little bit different than doing like jumping jacks with a bunch of five year olds. Um, so if you have any feedback, please let us know. Uh, we're trying to figure this out along the way and we'd love to make it the best experience for everyone. Um, so any feedback you can give us would be great and would be truly appreciated. Um, please practice your own words. Grandmaster Burlo has said through and through. 
that the idea of martial arts, as much as it, it takes us coming to the dojo and putting on the uniform to feel it, it's an individual fit. Um, it's individual for everyone, and it, it's each. It's you guys all have the ability to make it your own um, in a way that um, most things you can't because it's such an individual sport. So I highly recommend that you make it your own. You practice what you know you need to make stronger. You do what you need to do and you find your balance with it. One of the things that um, I know little kids need it to get their energy out and adults have their own reason, whether it's to step away from work, whether it's to give them a physical activity. Um, but make each move yours and make it like, one of the things that we, and I'll give you an example, that um, we know senior instructor Tracy has made sidekicks hit. He does a hundred each leg every single day. He's been doing it for the whole year. He's made it so every time we want to think of a sidekick or every time we go through and we're practicing, we look to him because it's, it's, in, like, it's such a good technique and he's made it his technique. He's made it something unique and special for him. Um, and that's really what martial arts is. We're all learning the same concepts, but everyone's going to do them differently. Everyone's going to have a different reason for it and a different passion for it. So I know things are really crazy for everyone. So please, please, please take the time to um, find your, your own individualness in it um, and enjoy it as much as you can. I know things are crazy. So uh, all of the instructors, we were talking the other day, if you guys need anything, whether it's UMAC related or otherwise, please ask the best that we can do. I know we have to do all the social distancing and whatnot, but the best thing that we can do during this time is let everyone know that we're here um, and help and help in any way that we can. Uh, we love our community, we love our students. And so if we can give back in any way, please let us know. Um, it means the world to us that we can still teach you guys and work with our students, even if it's through a screen and it's very awkward sometimes. Um, but thank you so much for joining us tonight. Like I said, please let us know questions, comments, concerns. I will be here for the next 10 minutes after this class ends if you want to ask anything um, or you want to comment on how the class went, please let me know. Um, but class is technically dismissed. So chair up and class is dismissed. Come so me down. Thank you for joining me guys so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. It was nice meeting you.